All right, so just to follow up, yesterday finally got it cranked. Got it started, got it running. Actually got it to move. Um, but we had some vacuum line leaks. On the back of the head, there's actually two banjo bolts. And what that is is just a bolt that's got a hole in it. The mounts to the back, commonly referred to as the steam rail, I have come to learn. Apparently they weren't tightened up enough and it was leaking everywhere. So I got the vacuum leaks taken care of. Headers are still loose. Gonna have to get that fixed because it does have an exhaust leak. But other than that, everything is good. I have not tried to start it today, but that's what I'm gonna do now. So, but this is a 95 throttle body. These are 95 heads as well, which really doesn't make any difference other than some cooling issues. That's it, we're pretty much good to go. It's made a god awful mess yesterday because somebody, I'm not gonna mention any names, forgot to tighten the oil filter. But now this puts us at mm, probably about four days into this thing. So hopefully it starts up, runs fine. Doesn't have Once we can get all that stuff straightened out. Actually planning on getting it all nice and cleaned up, but what I'm gonna do now is just attempt to start it and check the oil, make sure it's got oil. I know it's got fluid. So obviously, other than the smoke coming out of the headers, where they need to be tightened down, everything runs good. Got it idling out good. Like I said, just gotta go through, tighten up the headers. I'm gonna check the rocker arms too, to make sure that they're good. But other than that, that's it, it's coming along nice, it sounds good. If you hadn't, make sure you go ahead and subscribe, like, comment, whatever you wanna do. Again, it's the first Camaro I've ever owned, ever worked on can't say that the motor itself is that big of a pain. Getting to the stuff on the other hand, it is. All right, so you got a push out. Got all the headers tightened up. Had to replace, I believe this is the oil level sensor. Um, it was pegged out as reading, reading zero, plus the back piece of it was broke off, so it was just shooting oil out to everywhere. Might have to adjust the rocker arms, but my exhaust did was extremely loose so I went ahead and tightened all those bolts cleaned everything up on the bottom careful not to spray the opti spark had like I said it had that bad oil leak the seal on the oil filter that was on there it was busted as well um we got it replaced out so now I'm just going to add some oil and keep my fingers crossed
so the seal that goes around this the oil filter itself on that just got off a of fram when it exploded so I'm gonna check this out or get these switched out see what it does okay so we're gonna try this again got that filter off the ring was not blown it was just pushed aside but I made sure that I cleaned all the threads the old gasket was removed everything so we're gonna try this again sitting at 80 right now but it was pick up well she runs engine temperature don't work I even went and bought a gauge I'm not gonna name the parts store they gave me the wrong one this thing gear it's gonna smoke like a champ to get all that stuff burn off going to complete it for today on things I have left probably just going to go ahead and replace the radiator may just be those hoses down towards the bottom I'm not sure figure out some stuff as far as the vacuum lines go which won't take long at all and replace the uh, temperature sensor in it we got it running not running perfect Obviously, needs a little bit of work, some fine tuning. Get all that straightened out. I think I've got most of all the crap that we had put in there burn out at this point. Um, but I am going to take a break from it tomorrow. Just got to get some things done. And to be happy to know, I actually cleaned the shop up. The floor's got to dry a little bit. But other than that, that's going to complete the video. If you hadn't already, make sure you subscribe. Things been a ton of work, a little bit more money than what I want to put into it because I'm not looking to make it a show car or anything like that. I just want to fix it up to where it's a possible everyday driver, have a good time with it. Like I said, got a lot of work into it, got it running, was completely not running whatsoever, got it all taken care of, but I'm pretty pleased with the process. Um, and that's going to be about it. Like I said, I'm not really going to do anything with it tomorrow figure out what I got going on and we'll go from there.